I need to take an x-ray of Molly's abdomen right away because if she's got a bloated, twisted stomach, her life could be in serious jeopardy. My biggest fear at the moment is she doesn't come home. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. This is bad. OK, so this dog's come in and um, she's not looking good at all. Hey, that feels really bloated. At the Bondi Referral Hospital sash, six-year-old Molly has been rushed in with a badly swollen stomach. When I feel her abdomen, it does feel bloated. She's really not in a stable condition, so we've got to act fast. Emergency vet Dr Lisa Chimes is worried the listless greyhound has a dangerous condition called bloat. Their stomach basically fills up with air and becomes massive. And the risk is that that stomach can twist, cutting off the blood supply to vital organs, and that can kill them. All right, honey, let's get an X-ray done. Ona Bethany is a former vet nurse and recognised the symptoms straight away. I've had a dog pass away with bloat about 10 years ago and seeing Molly's symptoms, it, it kind of has given me a big scare and I'm just hoping that what they find is not what I'm thinking, but I'm worried. All right, come on, Molly. That's a girl. I need to take an X-ray of Molly's abdomen right away because if she's got a bloated, twisted stomach, her life could be in serious jeopardy. Stay there, Molly. Molly's devoted owner is anxiously waiting for the results. Um, I'm hoping it's not, it's not bloat. I had a dog 10 years ago die because of bloat, which is really scary, and I just hope that she pulls through. Oh, no. This is bad. When I look at Molly's x-ray, her stomach is absolutely massive and it's very obvious that it's twisted. Now, that is something that needs surgery and without it, Molly won't survive. So, I've taken an x-ray of Molly and it shows that she has got a bloated and twisted stomach. So, she needs emergency surgery. OK. Can I see her? Absolutely. Come through. My greatest fear is losing her, and, and that's not an option for me. I just want to make sure that, that she's OK, and I, I just can't lose her. Molly's life-saving surgery needs to happen immediately. <laughs> You'll be good. You'll be good, OK? It's absolutely heartbreaking just to think that she's about to go through major surgery and I just can't be there with her. My biggest fear at the moment is she doesn't come home. Oh, sorry. Good girl, Molly. All right, sleepy, sleepy girl. Good girl. At SASH, six-year-old Molly is about to undergo an operation to try to fix her badly twisted stomach. All right, let's get her up. OK, pups. Having a twisted stomach is one of the most life-threatening conditions a dog can have. And if we don't operate on Molly, there is no way she'll survive. Oh, no. But suddenly, Molly's system begins to crash. Her ECG is showing that her heart is racing. She's got a really dangerous arrhythmia, and if we don't treat it, that could kill her instantly. Molly's abnormal heartbeat is a sign that her stomach is causing extreme pain. We need to stabilise Molly and get her heart under control before we do anything else. Lisa and the team are using a pain relief drug to try to lower Molly's heart rate. Heart rate's 112. Slow the lot. Let's just get her in there, right? Surgery can now get underway, but everyone is still on edge. Molly's an unstable dog. Now she's under anaesthetic, anything could go wrong. Specialist surgeon Dr Ricky Cashmore will perform the delicate operation. The goal of this surgery is to get the stomach untwisted and deflated as quick as possible. And that way we've got the best chance of saving both the dog and the stomach. Just hang on one second. 
So additional to the stomach actually twisting, the spleen is twisted too, and all the blood supply to the spleen is actually thrombosed and clotted. So to prevent it from actually rotting in the abdomen, we're going to have to actually remove the spleen. Okay. We've been able to remove the spleen successfully, and now we need to untwist the stomach. Okay. Oh, that's quite nice. Fortunately, her stomach has returned to normal colour, so she doesn't appear to have any permanent damage, which is very lucky. With the stomach untwisted, Ricky is now going to stitch it to the abdominal wall. This will prevent it from twisting in the future. That's it. Awesome. Although the surgery's gone well, there's still a small chance she could have serious problems, so she's going to have to recover in the ICU, where she'll be monitored closely for the next couple of days. Sash, it's been 24 hours since Molly's life-saving surgery. Molly came in here yesterday with a twisted stomach and she needed emergency surgery to have that stomach put back in position and have her spleen removed. I'm going to take a look at her and see how she's doing. A good girl, hey? Look really good. Most animals that have the same problem as Molly take a few days to recover and Molly overnight is looking so much better. She hasn't had any complications that arrhythmia has resolved and I think she's ready to go home. You go see Mum? Okay, let's go. I'm really excited to be able to take Molly home tonight. Um, you know, normally they need to stay in hospital for, for a lot longer than this, but you know, she's a fighter, my dog. I'm so relieved that, that Molly has pulled through, it, you know, knowing how severe this sort of situation can be and the fact that she's pulled through is amazing. She's happy, she's bright, she looks incredible. All right, so this is it. Yay. Bye, sweetheart. Hey, you'd be a good girl for Mum. Hey? Oh, you're a lucky thing. When Bethany first brought Molly in here, she was absolutely devastated. She didn't even know if Molly was going to survive. And now she's taking her home and she must be over the moon. Bye. Thank you, Lisa. Thank See you. you. Pleasure. Come on. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.